I'm Winston Rollins, the assistant musical director for Nigel. Today we'll be looking at the trombone section in brief in this short video. Uh, what I'll be doing is uh, giving a few hints and tips and how I would approach a particular piece. In this case we're going to use a uh, uh, piece called Lady Be Good which can be found in the Nigel Virtual Academy online. From there you will go to the uh, Music Minus One section uh, download the band, download Nigel playing uh, Lady Be Good. Uh, you can put these stems into your door, your digital audio workstation, uh, i.e. Logic, Cubase, uh, whatever you have at hand, even Audacity. Uh, also, you can download the PDFs. And with this, uh, all you do in uh, Logic or uh, Cubase or whatever you're using, mute the part out that you're going to be playing to and then you can practice to your heart's desire. So I'll be playing the lead part in Lady Be Good and uh, then we'll break it down. I'll record it, you can hear it, then we can break it down and I'll tell you how I approached it and uh, how, I, how, how I would approach it and lead the section. Okay, here goes. Now that I've played the piece, I'm going to take you through how I approached it. Uh, one thing to remember is the trombone section is the belly of the big band. This is where the warmth and everything comes through. Because uh, you've got the trumpets on top, so the saxes flurrying around, and the trombone section is the meat, the beef in the middle. So uh, I, when I play lead, I like to play with a degree of assertiveness. So like picking this piece up from letter A, we notice uh, we've got some backing figures uh, and they have to be punchy because the piece is a punch piece, uh, the way it's been arranged. So I would lean towards playing this at a good 40. So I, I'd, I'd play it like this. Which is quite full on, really. The register means, the register of the lead trombone player means you can't really hold back uh, because you don't want the notes to topple over. So you have to have a, a degree of a degree of uh, air to produce the notes. So if you're tickling the notes, it's just going to crumble. Just make sure you've got enough air to push through the instrument. Uh, also, uh, you can put a bit of flair in your lead playing uh, when you're playing and, and what will happen is the, the, the guys, second, third and fourth will follow you. So I'll just slow it down a bit. Uh, so if I was playing this again, I'd be... So I'd put a little bit of vib on the end of notes uh, to, just to create a style, you know, and, and the style of... of of your personality will come out. Don't go overboard, obviously. Don't go overboard, don't go... You know, because that's just going to get in the way of everything and you don't want the rest of the section to be going mad like that. Just gentle, subtle nuances to your playing. Uh, and, and another way to achieve this, if, if you transcribe solos, uh, trombone solos, or, or any solos for that matter, uh, this will get... Uh, you'll pick up little styles and this will be incorporated into your playing. Now as you can see we've got all these punchy lines like uh, uh, the accompaniment to the tune at bar 44 is played the second time with the uh, trombones and the uh, trumpets coming in on the first time bar. This is a common structure 
uh, where it just had a, a degree of variety and uh, listening pleasure to the ear. So nothing's in all at once. Again, uh, this is just a backing, so we, we don't need to go overboard uh, with the with with the volume. It just make it nice and and broad and 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 good to lean on, you know. Uh, but as we as we move on, uh, we the trombones have this uh, little line that's coming up, which is a unison line. This is coming out of the second time bar into bar 53. Uh, now this is a, a, a tricky line. Uh, the, the notes just don't fall under the slide, so uh, you have to practice this and and just uh, and just make it flow. Now the thing about a unison line is, uh, with five trombones in a section, you don't have to be playing loud, so you can pull back. Even the lead player can pull back and uh, just uh, play the notes so they come out. Because with five people playing the, the line, it's going to sound great. And if and if the articulation's there and everything, uh, with the five people playing a, a nice MF, uh, it'll sound beautiful. Uh, and and when things are moving at speed, uh, not all the notes are going to be played. A few of the notes are going to be ghost, you know, to to get the notes in. Uh, uh, you, one has to look at uh, alternate positions as well uh, to make uh, uh, to to get through the phrase as well to make it as easy as possible for you to play. So uh, in in this example, we've got uh, I'll play the line slowly. Uh, we we we've got a series of notes, and uh, some of them are going to be played in alternate positions to make it a lot easier to to get around the phrase. I'll do that again. Notice how I went out to the fourth position uh, to make uh, the, the, the position of the slide be in a much more comfortable place to drop down to the B natural in bar 53. Uh, so we go out to the fourth. So we're already outstretched out for the fourth position for the B coming back up uh, to the C sharp and D. Uh, and in bar 54, notice how I went out to fifth position for the D flat, that's because uh, the, the the piece is moving so f so fast uh, to go from the G flat back up uh, would be uh, would be moving the slide really quickly. So we just make things a bit more easier for ourselves. And uh, and also when practicing it. Start even slower so we can get the notes in and, and just speed up gradually, gradually, gradually. Now that we've worked out our alternate positions uh, at our slow practice speed, we have to speed this phrase up uh, to get it up to uh, gig speed, I suppose. Uh, so now we have to incorporate some double tongue in to play this at speed, or some doodle tongue in if you prefer, along with single tongue in. Uh, so we can play this particular phrase at speed. And remember, this, this phrase isn't being played loud, so that you've got more chance of getting all the notes out, albeit some notes may be ghosted. I'll give you an example. This is the slow speed with the single tongue. Okay, this is uh, a lot quicker with a double tongue and doodling tongue in and bits and bobs. Notice how uh, the quavers move a lot smoother and I uh, can get through the phrase a lot quicker. Uh, so you'll have to practice this slow and speed up gradually until the phrase comes out. 
Now that we've worked out how to play this little phrase a lot faster using a combination of the double tongue and the single tongue, it's time to move on to the second, third, fourth, and if indeed you have a bass trombone player on fifth, the bass trombone, the trombone section. Now the idea of the trombone section is to support each other, especially the lead trombone player, because he's leading the section, and also whatever the lead trombone player does, uh, you should follow. For instance, uh, you have a semi-breathe and uh, he comes off on four, you should come off on four with him. Don't play to the one because it's written, he might feel that it, it warrants to come off on four. Uh, so you should always be there with him. If indeed he does a little vib, do the vib if, it, if it's appropriate. Like I was saying earlier, don't go overboard, just do that little vib at the end of the uh, phrase. Uh, of the notes of the long note to give it a bit more style uh, yeah uh, and just and just following also uh, the lower the notes are so we're going down from second third fourth and um, bass trombone as in this case the lower the notes are uh, the shorter you have to play them to keep uh, with the shortness and the attack of the lead trombone player because is is he's up there, his airstream is, is, is small and he's going psh, 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 whereas the uh, lower instrument's got uh, much lower notes which are wider and they're going da 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 so you have to make those you have to make those low notes shorter to keep the trombone section tight at all times you know as you go down uh, the section numbers like two three four and five bass trombone well I hope you enjoyed this little uh, hints and tips of how I would do things. Uh, I hope you found it useful. Please check out Nijo Virtual Academy online. Go to the Music Minus Ones and check out other tracks that are up there. There's about five or six at the moment and I'm sure there's more to follow. Thank you. My name is Winston Rollins, the Assistant Musical Director for Nijo.